welcome to a brand new Ruby. day and a brand new uh, member of the day fam. Uh, did she run away? Did he run away because of Ruby? Okay, you guys. Something we didn't tell you last night, but we got a new member of the day fam of our barn family, and it's dun da da da. Okay, don't tell them about who remembers Ruby. who this cat is. Remember, does anybody remember the name of this cat? Ruby's like, that's my friend. Ruby, Ruby loves cats. Ruby, she's is he warm? Anyway, you guys, that if any of you guys have been following for a long time, then you'll know who this cat is and where we know him from. Anyway, uh, we are not keeping this guy. We're just uh, caring for him for the next six months or so. And he is going to be an indoor cat. That's the only reason I agreed to take him. He's gonna be an indoor barn cat. Some of you guys might know that I said that we, I don't want a barn cat because I don't want it to get killed outside, but this guy is gonna be inside. He's, we, the way our barn is set up, he can stay in. And he will stay in. But anyway, comment below what the name of our new day fam animal is. And it's not Willow. She's like, give me my food. Yes. Um, it was so funny. We were up at the house and I was texting and then I was like, come on, we have to go. Stella's hungry. Because I always worry about Stella being hungry. And Sophie's like, oh. Were you talking to her? Did you text her? And I'm like, yeah, I texted her. She's like, get down here and give me my food. Right, Stella? Right, Stella Bella? Um, anyway, our trainer was here last night. And she walked in. Like, you guys don't know. Do you have her food? Can I get your brain bucket? They're so hungry. They're like, speed it up, sister. Stop with the kissing. Get with the food. Stella's snorting. She's like, bring me my food. Anyways, um, you guys might not know this about Stella, but she's a really kind, gentle horse. She's never pushy. And um, every place that we've ever taken her loves her. Like everywhere we go, people just love her. And it's her personality. And so our trainer had her for like the first few months that we had her. And she saw our trainer and went right to her. Anyways, and our trainer loved her and, when our, and I almost had tears. Like our trainer walked up to her and said, Stella, look at you. You look like a normal horse. Look at your neck. Like you guys might remember, she used to have like so much fat on her neck. It made me feel kind of teary because I feel bad making her lose weight. Like I hate hungry horses. I don't, I hate that she's on a diet. Like it, it kills me inside. I don't ever want her to be hungry. But at the same time, I want her to be healthy and I want her to be her best horse. Like I want her to have energy and feel good and yeah, so it's like a double-edged sword. So um, we'll just not get beet pulp in the morning. Right, no beet pulp for her in the morning, but we give it to her at night. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Shoot, I forgot her pill. Oh, yeah, that's the most important thing. It's coming. It's coming. When you have to rely, don't you, when you have to rely on a kid, it always takes longer. Don't go in there until she has her, her food. Why? Because she's going to be upset. <laughs> She's like, give me my food. There you go, princess. She's like, I'm so hungry. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, it's a it's a balmy uh, minus 18 today. Balmy minus 18, like so warm, right? So cool. So horses are getting their hay in the uh, arena again. And the only reason I do it like that is because it's it's what they choose. Like they don't want to go out unless they unless it's hey, warm. I have a good idea. We should put hay in side and outside so that they can go to whatever hay they want. Yeah, it's true. And we should put hay outside so that they go outside because it's good for them to go outside. But I mean, if they're cold, I'm all about them being comfortable.
I've been reading up. It's been great having Sam home, like so much better. Anyway, we've been reading up a lot on like trying to get our arena ready and it said don't ever do it in the winter. So yeah, what did we do? We did it in the winter because you can't level frozen ground and you can't like there's so many things you can't do. Um, so like our arena is on hold. We've been just trying to get it like the best that we could for Stella and Willow right now. Guys, so I gave Willow a treat for um, being good and going in on the first try. Um, and she grabbed my glove. It wouldn't let go until I pulled it away. Ooh, that cheeky Willow. Just joking, she's easy going. It was like that, the treat. Yeah, she, she probably couldn't tell the difference between the glove, but some of you guys are thinking no, that Willow- she accidentally grabbed the glove. Yeah, she accidentally grabbed it. And some of you guys are thinking that Willow's getting too uh, assertive, and she's really not. Like she, I don't know how to describe it, but she's just really gentle and sweet. And yeah, she does tell Stella off sometimes, but Stella tells her off way more than Willow tells Stella off. So Bye. we're gonna get more hay. Uh, probably today or tomorrow. We're gonna change this all around. Sam has the hay on like a skid so that it's not on the ground. We're gonna move it so it's in the back that way so we can walk in and we're gonna pile it up. We're gonna hopefully get more uh, depending on how much they have but the people where we get it from have lots. Hey baby. Uh oh. She's ready to go. Yeah I worry that I don't feed her enough. Anyway. What I wanted to show you, Sam, look at this issue that we have right here. Can you guys see it? He's outside. Oh, he's outside? Do you guys see it? What do you see? This vlog is all about poop. What kind of poop is that? Mouse poop. Mouse poop. Get ready to go. It is chore time in the day by day household. And yeah, this is what chores are happening today, right? We need to put these on and we can't unless Fiona or Dad does it. We actually can't do it? No, we couldn't because we need a screwdriver. Oh, oh. ooh, on. screwdriver on the saddle that we don't even know if we're keeping. <laughs> so you guys might know that Gabby made these yesterday um, so that she won't hurt the saddle. Um, she's going to be riding in it today. I feel a bit nervous that we had to put all that stuff on there. Like the stirrup leathers and the, yeah, it's beautiful. So this does seem like it might tip up, eh? That's because we need to ride in it. Okay, so if we ride in it, that'll push it down? Yeah. All right, so I'm really excited to get it uh, tried so we know if we're keeping it. Like, I, I want to keep it. It is way nicer than the when the saddle fitter came. So, Sophie, what do you feel, how do you feel about the new saddle? I like it. You like it? Are you excited to ride in it? Yeah. Okay, so we are completely ready to go and try and ride um, a storm with Gabby's new saddle. But then, uh, terrible news. I have terrible news about the saddle and try and the trying of the saddle. We can't try the saddle because our lessons got canceled because it's pouring snow outside. Look at this. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Whiteout conditions. Whiteout conditions. You can't see across the road. We just happen to live in the teeny tiny part of this area where you can see across the road and there's no whiteout conditions. But everybody else, like our instructors and all the other people, live in an area that they can't get to the bar. So, terrible news. We're not trying out the saddle today. So, instead, we're doing something so much more fun and so much better than riding horses. We're cleaning our room. Oh, my room died. You wasted your whole outfit. I have a blue sweater. And to top off the whole outfit, let's try to place ribbon. Imagine you actually got to wear your ribbons everywhere you went. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, no. So if you should wear her uh, ribbons in her hair, hair is great. The worst part about the whole thing is that we yeah. miss riding on Sundays. So we ride every single Sunday and it's like the big day that we go and spend time with Storm just for Storm and take care of him. And you guys, and we missed it because of Brooklyn's birthday party. Yeah. And you guys saw that Gabby went, oh no, you guys didn't see, but Gabby and Sam went last night to change his blanket again. To change again. his blanket because when we went there to change his blanket on Saturday before Brooklyn's party, um, he was galloping around in the field with So his they friend. couldn't catch him, yeah. So she went last night, and we're gonna go again because we're the only we're people gonna go that can at go. supper time. Yeah, and we're gonna. Well, after supper time because then he'll be done. Yeah, he'll be inside. 
lunge him a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'll do any. Yeah, I guess we could. But anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go. We're still gonna go. It sucks, but we might have the whole barn to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I've been editing a video all afternoon while the girls have been done school, and then this is what my table looks like. So what the heck is this? That's uh, slime. Sophie, did you throw up? Oh my goodness. It's chunky because she added the whole entire package in all at one time. So what is it? It's this nice slimy goop that we got in our stockings. Oh, this is stuff that they got in their Christmas stocking that they never played with yet. It's super gooey. It smells good. And then Gabby's got that going on and then all that slime stuff. That's mine. It is a mess, but our horses are eating. They're inside because even though it is not super uh, stormy here, it is really cold. Do you hear that? I said stormy. I feel so bad. Like, I don't feel like we've ever missed a Sunday in a really long time. And if we did, we went on the Saturday and we couldn't this, this week either. I feel really awful. Or for we him. went on Monday. Like, he must be thinking, hey, where are those people that used to own me? Poor boy. All right, we are at the barn. We brought the saddle. Oh, hello, handsome. Hello. Oh, yeah, we brought you treat, Storm. He looks cool. He's so good at biting half. We Don't forget we have to put <laughs> Texas thing on. Brought you a, a treat, and now we're gonna try a saddle on you. We just wanna try it on. So our instructor said, do not ride in that saddle until I test it and make sure it fits him okay. So we're gonna put it on him anyways and see what you guys think and see how pretty he looks. Okay, so uh, this is it, you guys, and I don't know, I'm confused. So the girth, oh, the battery's gonna die. The girth, ex the girth is a bit too small. That's unfortunate. Wait. I think I gave her the wrong size, but I mean, we have girth extenders. It's such a nice girth. His arm's spatter too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's spatter now. This is what confuses me or concerns me, is that it looks good, it, it fits good. Um, so see how it's supposed to be like level here? Uh, she set it back specifically to write Gabby's position, and I don't know if it's going to be a problem. But if it is, I mean that's such an easy thing to fix with a, with a, with a saddle pad. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so nervous about the saddle fitting properly. Oh that looks so cute with the blue saddle with her blue stirrup covers, and her blue coat, and, and the blue on the halter. That's so cute. It fits them. That's your new halter. How many halters do you have now, Storm? Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.